welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Nikki, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me as I show you guys a couple of back to school outfits. This school year in particular, I am really excited to actually play around with my fashion and actually wear like some cute fits. I don't know about you guys, but I always end up falling into the slump of after like the first three weeks of school literally just wearing active wear and sweats every single day so i hope that this video can give you guys a little bit of inspo and some ideas of some staple pieces that you might want to go ahead and get before back to school or hopefully this can also help you just like learn to mix and match different things that you already have in your closet and let's just go ahead and get into the outfit so the first outfit is just the one that I'm actually wearing right now. Cute little yellow top that I actually just got yesterday from Plato's Closet. It's originally from H&M. And I absolutely love the neckline. I think that cap sleeves are super, super cute. And this is definitely an example of a top that you can dress up or you can dress down. I can definitely see myself wearing this with like some business trousers. I don't know about you guys, maybe that's just me, but I've been obsessed with yellow recently. Okay guys, I kind of love this next outfit like a lot. One thing that you'll notice about the way that I like to dress is that I often do either like a fun colored bottom and a simple top or I'll do like a patterned or colorful top and simple bottoms. Cheetah print and animal print in general has been super in this summer, but it is just this little cheetah print skirt. I think it's so freaking cute. For the top, this is absolutely a staple. I think that all the girlies should have in their wardrobe. Black high neck cap sleeve top with a fully open back, like hello. This absolutely can also be dressed up or dressed down. So for our next outfit, this one is super fun and super flowy too if you don't like wearing tight fitting clothing. I just have this graphic tee. I got this from Depop like a couple years ago, so I can't really tell you guys exactly where to get it. And then the linen pants that I'm wearing with it are actually also from Depop, but you guys can get these from Brandy Melville. They're from the John Galt collection. I'm telling you guys that if I could have linen pants in literally every single color, Color, I swear to you I would because I think they're so comfortable they're so cute and the perfect staple for moving from summer into fall and I love how the pink is in the pants and also the shirt so this next outfit is definitely super casual so this is definitely more leaning on the summer vibes um, so it might not keep you very warm if once it starts getting a little cooler But I had to include it anyways because I just got these new little baby yellow shorts from addicted and I am literally Obsessed with them any shorts that have like a little tie in the front are literally my favorite I also hate wearing belts Fun fact, I literally don't like them at all. It's just such a hassle sometimes. On top, I'm just wearing this little gray tank top that I actually cut and I thrifted a while ago. I think that having a good set of basic tank tops is crucial. Have a good black, a white, a gray, and you can mix and match it with so many different things. All right, so this next outfit is one that I can totally see myself wearing to class. This basic little cropped tee from Zara, and it is absolutely the perfect basic tee. I love how the sleeves aren't necessarily like down here like a regular t-shirt. They are a little bit more capped. So these are the jeans. I love these jeans. These are my favorite jeans of all time, and that's because they're literally just your basic jeans. They're straight leg. There's no rips in them. I feel like it definitely for this outfit, you could also wear a more colorful shoe to kind of make it more exciting. Like if you have a colorful Samba, that would be so cute. Or if you have like a high top converse that's colorful or just something to bring in more of a pop of color because this is a pretty basic outfit. I feel like I see every college girl wearing this to school. So not really reinventing the wheel here. I know this isn't necessarily a new outfit, but I did just want to quickly show you guys me wearing it with this white cardigan that I got. I love cardigans. They are literally so fall and I know that it's not fall yet and I still want it to stay summer, but when it does start getting a little bit cooler, having a basic cardigan like this is super nice. You can just throw it over everything. You automatically feel 10 times cozier just wrapped in like a little blanket. So hear me out before it is super nice where you guys judge me for this next outfit. I know that again, this one is definitely leaning more on the summer side. But I'm going to show you guys a couple different options that you can use to make a shirt like this go into more fall or winter. But let's just start by talking about the outfit though first. So I'm wearing this crochet knit top from Vestique. I'm definitely leaning more into the pinks recently, whereas I've 
normally just worn a lot of blue and then the bottoms are literally just these little denim shorts and i know that this might not be perfect for school because oftentimes the classrooms are way over air conditioned and you're literally freezing your butt off so i'm going to show you guys if it is starting to get a little cooler what you can also switch out these denim shorts for just some plain white linen pants i think that this outfit is actually so cute like i can so see myself wearing this so this next outfit is definitely leaning more towards the sporty side which i already told you guys i probably wear activewear 70 percent of the time which i'm gonna try not to do this year but it's inevitable because i like to work out in the morning and i know a lot of people do and sometimes you just want to be comfortable and feel like you can move in your outfit but also be cute at the same time so on top i'm wearing this little white bra tank that I got from Fonka. I don't know if my code still works with them but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen anyways because I did get this sent to me and guys I've gotten so many compliments on this bra tank from them because it is seriously so flattering and then on the bottom I'm wearing this brown crossover skirt. I got this from Marshalls on a super good deal at the beginning of the summer and I think that these activewear skirts are so perfect for school. One thing about me is I love a crossover, super flattering, and I also think the color is really fun as well. Okay, so this next outfit, I swear, is it PJs? Probably, but it's marketed as a lounge set, so by that I read into it as I can wear it to bed or to school. And it is just this blue and white striped set that I got from Depop, but it was originally from Victoria's Secret. I am literally obsessed with striped tank tops. I love where it falls on me too. It's like cropped, but not too much. And then these are the bottoms. They're so comfy. So I feel like I can do so much in them. I feel like I can lounge around the dorm, maybe just roll out of bed and go straight to class. And the thing that I love most about this set is that I can wear both of these pieces separately. I can wear this with literally anything. And then this, I feel like you can also wear with like a bunch of like plain colored tops. And then I'm not changing my outfit, but I did just go ahead and throw on my little UNC crew neck. I feel like if you go to college, you probably already have like a crew neck from your school, but you just gotta get a cute one. This one is like vintage. I think I got it on Mercari. I'm not really sure, but I freaking love it. One thing about me is I cut the neckline off of every t-shirt I have, pretty much. And also my crew necks too, because I just love the way they look when they're a little bit more off the shoulder. So the next outfit is super basic as well. I'm just wearing this sort of more off the shoulder white shirt that I got from Brandy. On bottom, I'm wearing this dark wash denim skirt. I love this denim skirt. This is so fall to me. If you can't tell, fall is on the mind. I'm so excited for it. And then I actually paired this with my black and white Adidas Sambas. And I feel like they really elevate a lot of outfits and make them look a lot more street style than they would otherwise. This next outfit is also, I feel like, the epitome of college clothing. If you don't wear a baggy tee and sweats to class at least once, I honestly respect that, but could not be me. Again, of course, I had to cut off the neckline. I'm just pairing it with these wide leg white sweatpants. These are from John Galt. And then quickly, I also wanted to show you guys how you could style it a little bit differently if you do want to show a little bit more skin. Also pairing this with this little blue tube top. I find that whenever I wear a tight top, and flowy bottoms, it's just so flattering. If it is a little bit chilly in the classroom, I'm also just wearing this oversized zip up. I am such a zip up girl. Like if I was given the chance to choose between a crew neck or a zip up, I will choose a zip up every single time. I love wearing them open like this so you can see the shirt underneath. Having a staple zip up like this is also really important, I feel like for fall and winter. All right, next up, I am obsessed with this outfit. Little black tank top. This is originally from H&M and I have it in white and black and I swear I get so much use out of them. For the bottom, I'm just wearing this light wash denim skirt that I originally actually thrifted, but it's originally from PacSun. I did want to go ahead and pair this with some sunglasses. I feel like this is so cute. Tell me that's not literally adorable. I am a huge sunglasses fan. I love wearing them as like a headband almost. Like all right, so next up, we are nearing the end, you guys, I swear. So on the top, we're just wearing this white tank top. I absolutely love the V-line on this. And then on the bottom, I am wearing these adorable checkerboard 
red and white gingham shorts. I got these from Amazon. They are so comfortable. This is definitely another one of those pieces of clothing that like, could it be pajamas? Yes, but I'm gonna choose to wear it as regular clothes. Guys, I almost forgot to bring out my little red baseball cap. I freaking love this baseball cap because it's just such a fun little pop of color and I swear I could have brought this out for so many of the outfits, but I totally forgot. But tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever, especially with the red and the red. All right, so for this next outfit, I literally love it. I am gonna say that about every outfit, but I just hope that I actually end up wearing these. On top, we just have this navy top. I love the halter neckline, and it also cinches at the waist, which again, who doesn't love a good cinched waist? Especially with the nice ruffle at the bottom, like, hello? So flattering, so cute. And it just ties at the top like this, has like a little open back moment. And then I just went ahead and paired it with this white skirt. I would absolutely recommend getting a white flowy skirt like this if you don't already, because you can wear it with so many things. This is definitely something that I could see myself wearing to maybe a brunch out or a more formal event if ever you need one. Maybe you're presenting something in class or you just wanna, you know, look cute. Guys, so that is pretty much it for this back to school outfit idea video. I hope that this helped you guys maybe get some ideas for outfits that you guys can put together for school this year. I encourage you guys to push yourselves this year, mix and match things in your wardrobe, try new things, you got it. And I hope you guys all have an amazing school year. And definitely go ahead and subscribe if you are into back to school content or school content because I am definitely going to be posting all of that. If you're a college girly, I'm gonna be doing a move-in vlog. I'm gonna do a first day of school video, first week of school, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank you.